horse, Tommy. She says give you one of them. Oh, boy! So here's yours. Hey, you gave me the little one. Gee whiz, Tommy, you're not very grateful. It's free. I'm grateful, all right. But my mom always says when you share with somebody, you should always give them the biggest piece. <laughs> yeah, your mom's right. Because that's what my mom always says, too. So here, take them both. Both of them? I don't want them both. Okay, then you can share one of them with me. And don't forget what your mother always says. <laughs> We gotta skulk around and watch this whole prairie. And remember, if any of us Indian scouts spots a wagon train, we whistle like a quail, see? Like this. What are we playing, Buzzy? We're Indian scouts. Apaches. You guys wanna be one? Sure. sure. Now, Dennis, when I whistle like this, that's a signal for a powwow. And that means everybody come in right away. Cause I need you. Yeah, he needs us. But whatever anybody whistles, we always gotta whistle back the same way. Because that way, the enemy thinks it's just birds, see? Eh? I don't know how to whistle. <laughs> don't know how to whistle? Well, not yet. Crimony, Dennis. How do you expect to be one of us Indians if you can't even whistle? Well, all Indians don't whistle. We do. <laughs> don't we, Patches? Yeah! yeah. Look, Dennis, just go like this. I don't feel like it right now. Well, I'll tell you what you can be. You can be a sheep herder. They don't have to whistle. All they have to do is get scalped. <laughs> I don't even want to play your silly old game. But I tell you one thing, Buzzy Hampton. When I get ready to whistle, I'll whistle better than you do. Come on, Dan. Pucker your mouth. Now blow. <laughs> See, my dumb old mouth will whistle at all. All it does is just blow. <laughs> well, you're a little young, honey. Lots of boys your age can't whistle yet. You'll learn. Sure you will. It'll just come to you all at once. If I don't learn any faster than this, I'll be an old man. I'll probably be shaving, even. <laughs> well, I don't think you'll be that ancient. Anyway, you've got a few days before your beard gets in your way. Yes, and don't forget, Buzzy Hampton's a lot older than you are. I'm not gonna wait until I'm as old as Buzzy. I'm gonna learn to whistle today. If it takes me the rest of my life. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm not the only kid in the world that can't whistle. supposed to whistle? You're not big enough. How old are you? Three? Sheepers. He's not even big enough to talk yet. But he can whistle. You always cut above a butt, you see. Well, like here, for instance. You see, never cut too far back on the bush, or you'll kill her. That's what I'd be afraid of. Oh, it could happen. For instance, if I cut it down here, it'd just kill it completely. Hi, Mr. Wilson! Oh. Oh. Don't holler in my ear, Dennis. I didn't holler, did I, Mrs. Wilson? Well, no, dear, you just startled him. All right, Dennis. What do you want? Well, I've got a problem. Oh, so have I. Lots of them. Why don't you go over in the park with the other boys and bother everybody instead of just bothering me? That's what the problem is, Mr. Wilson. They won't let me play Indian. 
because I don't know how to whistle. So if you'll teach me how, I'll... Whistle? Well, for heaven's sakes. I just gotta learn. All I can do so far is... And... Stuff like that. You'll learn, dear. I sure will if Mr. Wilson teaches me. Because you can do anything, can't you? Well, anything I feel like doing, yes, but... Well, I don't feel like teaching you to whistle. I, I'm too busy. Well, George, why don't you explain to the child? You see, dear... No, no, Martha, don't you tell him anything. Great Scott! Dad says all I have to do is just pucker and blow. But I can blow real fine. But I don't know how to pucker right. Dennis, you know, when I was a boy trying to learn to whistle, they told me to eat something sour to make my mouth pucker. Oh, sure. Well, that's what they told me. Sour? Like what? Oh, like, uh, oh, pickles, sour uh, grapes, or maybe sour lemons. Gee, that's well, Mr. Wilson. I'll try everything sour and puckery I can find. <laughs> good. Uh, and take your time about it. And when I learn to whistle real good, I'll come over every night and whistle you to sleep. <laughs> well, I hope he does. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, George, telling him to eat something sour. Well, he started it. He opened up an old wound that I've been trying to forget for years. In fact, I had forgotten about it till he came over. I think it's absolutely silly. Silly? Well, how do you think I feel about it? Here I am, a grown man who can't whistle. <laughs> well, what if you can't, George? It isn't important. Children whistle, mailmen whistle, even parakeets whistle, but not George Wilson. <laughs> Humiliating. Oh, George. As a child, I couldn't whistle for my dog like the other boys. At the movies, when everybody whistled and stamped their feet at William S. Hart, I just sat there like a big lump. <laughs> Do you know what they called me all through the third grade? A dumbbell. <laughs> well, children. Oh. I can still hear them. Georgie is a dumbbell. Georgie is a dumbbell. <laughs> but, darling, that was years ago. So don't hide it like a guilty secret. Well... Admit it. Chuckle over it and forget it. What? And be the laughing stock of the whole town? Never. Now, I don't want to hear any more about whistling, Martha. Never. I, I, I've got work to do. No. I'm going in the house and... Lie down for a while. <laughs> Pickles, I can get my money back besides. What are you doing? A lemon. <laughs> Boy, is this sour. <laughs> sure is hard to get the right kind of pucker. <laughs> I don't think that's going to help much. But you'll learn. You'll be a fine whistler someday. Where'd you get the calendar, Mom? From Mr. Quigley's grocery store. That's a famous old picture by a very famous artist. I know. Tommy's folks have one, and Tommy told me the name of it. Whistler's mother. That's right. I wonder how old her little boy was when he learned to whistle. <laughs> Dennis, that particular whistler was a painter. If I could just find the right kind of something sour, I... Hey, I know where to go. Sure, he'll have everything. Bye, Mom. Goodbye, dear. You're looking splendid today, Mrs. Elkins. Simply splendid. Well, thank you. I must say you're feeling good. It never felt better. I just read this new book and it gave me a whole new viewpoint. Yes, sir, it's great to be alive. It was at least. Too sweet. Dennis, what are you doing? Well, hi, Mr. Quigley. I want to 
buy something soon as I find it. I've got the money all right. There you are, Mrs. Elkins. Always a pleasure to serve you. Good day. Dennis, leave my fruit alone. What are you trying to do, ruin me? Oh, no, Mr. Quigley. I'm just sampling for sour stuff. I've got the money all right. Sampling for sour stuff? Yeah, I'm trying to learn to whistle. Whistle? I've got to find something sour to pucker my mouth up with. But so far, I haven't found the right thing. It isn't because you haven't tried. <laughs> There's little bitty green strawberries that you keep in the bottom of the box. They're pretty sour, all right. Yes, yes, Dennis. <laughs> but I need something even puckerier than that. If you want something sour, I've got just the thing. <laughs> These little cherries were picked too green. <laughs> They're never going to ripen up. Eat them if you want something sour. Geez, why, Mr. Quigley? No, no, not here. Too messy. <laughs> Take them home and eat them, okay? Geez, why, Mr. Quigley? Yeah, I'll charge it to your father's account. All of it. <laughs> Dennis! Now, quickly, it's all over. You feel fine. Great. Never felt better. <laughs> Quigley, out of tea. Well, well, George, how are you? It's nice to see you. Say, you're looking wonderful. Oh, I got a cramp in my shoulder. I've been hunched in a doorway for 10 minutes waiting for Dennis to get out of here. Dennis Mitchell? Oh, you shouldn't let him worry you. Well, what's happened to you? The last time I was in here, you were carrying him out that door by the seat of his pants. Oh, oh that sort of ill temper is all behind me. You know, I have been reading a book that has just changed my whole outlook on life. Hmm. I tell you, that book has done wonders for me. Really? Don't hide your frustrations, it says. Drag them out. Talk about them. And you'll get rid of them, it says. Well, it sounds like a sort of do-it-yourself psychiatry. <laughs> exactly. And it works. I never felt better in my life. Hmm. Well, I've got problems, of course, but there's one particular thing that's plagued me since childhood. Oh, I haven't talked about it because, well, it's just silly. People would laugh at me. George, believe me, no one's going to laugh at your frustrations. Now, how can we laugh at other people's problems when we all have problems of our own? Well, look at me, Quigley. I'm moderately successful. I'm retired. I'm 50... Well, I'm over 50 years old. Oh, at least, yes. And I have never learned to do one simple thing that most children learn in the first grade. How to whistle. I can't whistle a note. <laughs> whistle? Oh, you're kidding. No, I can't whistle at all. <laughs> you mean you can't... <laughs> a man your age and you can't whistle? <laughs> oh, that's rich. I, oh. I never heard anything so ridiculous. Oh, man, I, I knew I shouldn't trust a secret to a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Did you 
Maniac Dennis, can you whistle? Well, not quite, Tommy. I can almost whistle, and me and Mr. Wilson are gonna ha! Everybody can whistle but you, Dennis! Hi yourself, Buzzy. Everybody cannot whistle but me. Tell him, Mr. Wilson. Oh, I, I will not. <laughs> Confound this gate. Dennis is a dumbbell. Dennis is a dumbbell. Dennis, Dennis is, is a dumbbell. dumbbell. He's no more of a dumbbell than you are, you little... All right, you get out of here, all of you, out of my yard. Go on, go someplace else. You too, out, out, go on. Uh, let you and I go in the house and see if we can find some cookies. What's so great about whistling anyway? If you learn okay, if you don't okay, who cares? Sure, who cares? So let's just forget it now, huh? I got some things here I want to show you. We won't even mention the word whistle, right? Right. Ah, look at this book I just got. Brand new edition of Birds of the World. You know, every bird you can think of is in here. <laughs> Boy, they sure are pretty. Ah, these are tropical birds, Dennis. Uh, talking birds, most of them. There's a parrot. I know parrots. A cockatoo, and this one's a minor bird. What's this one, Mr. Wilson? Does he talk too? No, no, Dennis, that's a Peruvian bush bird. He has a high, shrill whistle, and when he whistles... <laughs> He's not as big as my fist, and he can whistle. He's not even as big as Quigley's nose, Now, I'll bet he can whistle better than Quigley... That's enough of birds, huh? I tell you what, Dennis. Let's take a look at my stamp collection. Okay. Boy, I'll bet this is the swellest stamp collection in the whole world. <laughs> well, it's a pretty good one, all right. You see, these are all commemorative stamps, Dennis. Now, here's the 100th anniversary of the steam engine. I'm gonna be a captain on a steamboat someday. Oh, well, I'll bet you'd be a darn good one. <laughs> now, this Alaska stamp hey, here. Hey, here's that lady in the rocking chair again. <laughs> oh, yes, that's Quigley's mother, uh, Whistler's mother. <laughs> oh, Dennis, great Scott, what is the matter with us? You know, we're just being ridiculous. I tell you what, let's watch a little television. Oh, boy, the cartoons are on. They're real funny. <laughs> Good. Let's have ourselves a few laughs. We'll sit here and laugh it up while... And this has been Pop Johnson's Cartoon Party, brought to you by the makers of Johnson's Party Pop, the pop you kids all love. And now, let's hear our theme song that reminds us of Pop Johnson's Party Pop. Everybody! <laughs> Now remember, I want all you good whistlers to join us here tomorrow for another great Johnson's Party Pop Party. There'll be free gifts and prizes for everybody, so don't... I don't want to watch anymore. I'd better go home, I guess. I... I guess so. I think I'll go back to Mr. Quigley's and get those sour old cherries. I just got to learn to whistle some way. <laughs> I sure hope I know how to whistle tomorrow. Gee whiz. I'm sure you will, son. Good night, dear. Nice, son. Hey, I meant to tell you what happened a while ago. I was having a banana to kind of rest my mouth. <laughs> and look what came loose. A tooth. I've been expecting that one. Oh, well, you take it right up and put it under your pillow. Maybe the good fairy will leave you some money for it. Okay. But you know what I wish the good fairy would do instead? Teach, Teach you, you to whistle. whistle. <laughs>
sure is a lucky way to start the morning. Maybe this is going to be my day to whistle. It's that lost tooth that did it. Oh, no. This my tooth didn't teach me how to whistle. It's these sour cherries that did it. It is? Sure. They puck it off my mouth just right. Just like Mr. Wilson said they would. <laughs> Mighty smart man, Mr. Wilson. He sure is. I'm gonna go over there right now and teach him how to whistle. <laughs> hmm. Oh, isn't it pleasant out here in the mornings, Martha? Yes, George. It's so calm and peaceful. <sighs> Just like the country. <laughs> so that's going to start again. Hi, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> it's me, Dennis. <laughs> oh. Oh. You too now, huh? And it's all because of you, Mr. Wilson. Me? It's the sour cherries that did it. They puck it out my mouth just right. Just like you said they would. And all at once I can whistle. Martha, I... I thought something like that just might work. Oh, George, you just told him that. It sure works all right. Well, you can see how it could have a scientific basis. To whistle, you have to pucker your mouth and something sour that aids puckering. Try these things, Mr. Wilson. They're the puckeriest things you ever tasted. <laughs> you see, Martha, I just happen to have an inventive mind. And it struck me, oh, oh I bit down on a pit. Mm, oh, dear. Mm, there goes the filling. I lost the filling. Oh, dear. Gee, I'm sorry it hurts, Mr. Wilson. Well, it isn't the tooth that hurts so much, Dennis. It's the $20 for a new filling. <laughs> Mr. Wilson, oh, I... Now, never mind, Dennis. But now that you've tried the cherries, maybe if you just try like I did, you look pretty puckery. Oh, all right, but look, all I can do is blow. <laughs> you did it, Mr. Wilson. You did it. That was good, George. <laughs> <laughs> Say, this is fun, Dennis. Let's try a tune together. Okay, and I know just the tune. That's but... well, Dennis. Buzzy said that when you learned to whistle, you could be a Patsy Scout, too. So come on. Well, thanks, Tommy. You tell Buzzy I haven't got time for that kind of silly stuff today. Silly stuff? Me and Mr. Wilson have got some important practicing to do. You know the song I mean. Oh, I certainly do. has been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.